Okay. Thank you all for coming. Um, I just want to start by saying that I will only be fielding <laughs> questions relating to microphones today, so please let's just keep it on target and uh, let's get started. Daniel, Daniel, uh, do you have a favorite microphone? And if yes, why? Um, you know, I can't say I have a favorite microphone. I'm fortunate enough to have several microphones, you know, for their particular uh, purpose. Uh, however, there are a few good microphones, very affordable microphones out there for someone who, you know, may only be able to afford one or is looking to get started in this, you know, YouTube world. So there, some microphones are better for certain purposes, but there is no one perfect microphone. Daniel, which, which microphone would you recommend for a YouTuber starting out? Um, if I had to recommend a microphone out for a YouTuber, I would say, you know, there's a lot of things to consider. However, you got to look at what you're doing on YouTube, um, what your goal is. Uh, if you're looking at a specific microphone, your cost, your budget, stuff like that. So again, there's no one perfect solution, but I think a little bit later on we'll go through what microphones you can purchase for what purposes and how much that's going to run you. Daniel, is it true that there are several dozen supermodels contacting you regularly for dates? Okay, we're done here. Uh, he ruined it for everyone, so thank you guys. Thank you for uh, coming out. Today we're talking microphones, but before we get into that, I've actually hidden three Amazon gift cards throughout the video. It's like a code, you gotta look for it. They're not gonna be easy to find, but it's also on a first come, first serve basis. So what I would do if I were you is, as soon as you find that code, pause the video, head over to Amazon, type it in, boom, gift card is yours. Now there's three of them. You could find all three, but once they go, they're gone for good. It's one time use only. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. Now let's talk microphones. I could approach this one of two ways. I could get into all the technical, this decibels and blah, 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 but I'm not gonna do that for two reasons. One, I don't know any of that stuff. I don't know all the numbers and, I mean, it, does it sound good? Yes or no? Boom, good choice. And two, it's probably just easier if I use the microphones as an example. So what we're gonna do throughout the video is when I'm talking about each microphone, I'm gonna record it on that microphone so you can hear the quality difference between the Sennheiser, the Rode, the newer podcast mic, and the Fifine lapel mic. Those are the four microphones we're gonna be reviewing today. So let's get into it. Starting with the Sennheiser shotgun mic. This microphone is a little bit more on the expensive side at about 400 bucks, but it is pretty good for multiple uses. It's a shotgun mic, so it's very professional sounding. You can mount it to the top of your camera, sort of like a vlogging mic, but it's about like 10 inches long. For that reason, it's kind of cumbersome as a vlogging mic, so it's not ideal for that. Sound quality is unbelievable. The price point is probably where this microphone will lose a lot of people. It's about $400 for the setup. I'll link all of the microphones that we talk about down below. The Sennheiser mic though, really great audio quality, cuts background noise. It's a good choice. If you have the budget for it, I definitely recommend picking this one up. Next up is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Overall, I think this one is probably your best bet if you wanna get into vlogging or you need an all around solution. It's small, it's lightweight, super easy to use. It has the automatic battery. So when you start recording, it automatically realizes you're recording and turns the microphone on. And then when you're not recording anymore, it turns the microphone off, which is money because you don't waste any battery, stuff like that. General purpose, probably your best bet if you're starting out. Price point is around the $300 mark, give or take, depending on where you're from. Some of the downfalls of this microphone though, I find that if you have to record from a distance, or even sometimes up close, it does pick up a lot of ambient noise. It is directional, but it's not as focused as the shotgun. If you do pick up some background noise, um, you will need a wind cover if you're you're filming outside, but the portability of it is the biggest factor. It's a good all-purpose mic to have considering the cost and the functionality. Moving on. All right, up next we've got the newer podcast mic. Honestly, this thing is unbelievable in terms of sound quality to price. This thing is $60 and as you guys can probably hear, the sound is 
unreal. It comes with a lot of things, which is great. It has its own power supply, plugs directly into a, an auxiliary port, so it's very easy to use, but it's a specific use case. You can't take this thing out vlogging. Could you imagine this thing like mounted to the top of your camera and then you've got like the, the big arm like hanging over if you need to do an inter no that's not gonna work it is really good quality but this is something like let's say you want to start a youtube channel for gaming or somewhere you'd be stationary at a desk most of the time this is an unbelievable buy for 60 bucks like why wouldn't you buy this right but again you lose that mobility um, comes with a lot of features which is really cool i actually really like it but it's specific to one kind of use it's not very multi-purpose like the other two were so for that reason it wouldn't be my first choice if you find yourself recording in a studio a lot definitely consider it although here's my issue with it too it's like when you're this good looking and then you've got this microphone in your face you want to have it further away right here's the difference between where it should be which is only a couple inches from your mouth and where I'd like to have it so I can show my beautiful face to the camera so once you put the microphone out there I feel like you get a significant loss of quality and it's still in frame right now so it's distracting from from this right here so once you put it here look at this half my face is covered you can't even I'm sure that's why all you guys subscribe you're like wow his tips are mediocre but he's so attractive so I can't not subscribe which reminds me if you're this far in the video and you haven't subscribed just hit that hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button all right on to the next mic which might be my favorite right now even though I said I don't have a favorite now last, but definitely not least, we have the 15 lapel microphone. Let me just start by saying this thing is $30. Do I even need to go on with this review? The quality is fantastic. It's only 30 bucks and it combines a lot of the best features from the other microphones. Now, before we get into the good things about it, let me give you the one bad thing about it. Let's just get that out of the way quickly. The receiver that you attach to your camera or computer or whatever audio system you're using runs on AA batteries. Now, this wireless pack that you attach to your belt runs on AAA batteries. So not only do you have to buy batteries, but you have to buy two different sets. If I could change one thing about this whole setup, it's that. But that really is the only downfall. And now for the good. One, it's a wireless pack. This sits on your belt or in your on your pants, whatever, wherever you're doing it. You run the little wire up your shirt and clip it on top. If you play your cards right, you might even get to run the wire up someone else's shirt. Who knows? I don't know what you're into. And then there's a wireless receiver that hangs off the side of your camera. It's small, it's lightweight, and the best part about it is that if you're vlogging or filming an interview or whatever you're using your camera for, it opens up the hot shoe on top. The other microphones in the Sennheiser and Rode mic screw into the top and mount to that hot shoe, so it kind of limits you. You'll need another adapter if you want to add a screen or a light. This way, you're wide open, you can add that extra light for your interview, you can add that screen so you can see what you're recording, and it's great for that reason alone. Now, obviously, when you buy a microphone, you're listening to audio quality, that's the big deal. Audio quality on this one is fantastic. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Sennheiser, but for literally less than 10% of the cost, the difference in sound is negligible. Like this is more than enough for what you're doing and it's a lot more versatile than the Sennheiser. Because it's a lapel mic, it's picking up your voice. You might get a little bit of ambient noise, but because it's on your person, it's gonna pick up your voice first and foremost. It's super portable, unlike the podcast mic, so there's that working to its advantage. Again, I feel like I keep repeating this, but for 30 bucks, Am I, am I crazy? Maybe you're crazy if you don't see the appeal for $30 to get this kind of sound quality on all your videos. As I said before, all these microphones are gonna be listed in the description. I'll give you the Amazon link. And speaking of Amazon, I hope you guys have been keeping an eye out for those codes. They're in here somewhere. Maybe they've all played already. Maybe they haven't played yet, but make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for those. And if you like this video, make sure you like hit the like button. That's what it's there for. I like it, I hit the like button. Boom. And if you aren't already, hit that subscribe button. Fun fact, every time you hit that subscribe button, an angel gets his wings. So I will see you guys in the next video. Love ya. Daniel, is it true that you are half man, half machine? Uh, no comment, uh, next question. A lot of people have been questioning whether or not you can lick your own elbow. Can you do this?
No, I cannot. Daniel, exactly how many push-ups in a row can you do? 3,614. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of rumors flying around that you've been arrested several times. Is this true? Several times. Uh, actually, I'm risking a lot by doing this public uh, press conference. So um, let's keep things moving along and wrap this up before the police show up. Thank you. Daniel, you have an on-again, off-again relationship and past with Scarlett Johansson. Can you shed any light on that? Um, you know, Scarlett and I, we do have a past, but... Uh, not everything always works out, so she's a great girl, really happy for her, she's doing great things, and uh, I wish her all the best, yeah.